in science labs around the world. Right now, the race is heating up to reverse human aging. There's this growing community of scientists that sees aging as not necessarily an inevitability, but a problem that they believe can be fixed. Dr. William H. Andrews has worked in the biotech industry for 31 years. The last 19 years focused solely on the aging process. Please give a level 10 welcome to Dr. Bill Andrews. My technology is gonna change the world. I'm this close to solving the problem of aging. I personally plan on living to be at least 150 and running a seven minute mile when I'm 130 years old. Curing aging is a race. The clock ticks once, telomerase pushes it back. Ticks again, telomerase pushes it back. The theory says that every time our cells divide, the tips of our chromosomes, called telomeres, become shorter. Eventually, they become so short, they stop our cells dividing. We can't produce new cells, and so we age. But as you grow older, the telomeres become damaged and frayed, and as they stop working, we start aging, experiencing things like hearing and memory loss. Scientists took mice who were prematurely aged, added an enzyme, and essentially turned their telomeres back on. You can see it before the enzyme, after. Their brain function improved, their fertility was restored. It was a, a remarkable uh, reversal of the aging process. The literature tells us that it's, I would say, 95% certain or better that if we can find ways to lengthen the telomeres, we are gonna reverse aging. The bottom line is this. When cells divide, telomeres shorten. And bad things happen when telomeres get short. When a cell divides, the genetic material inside that cell needs to be copied. This is called DNA replication. During this process, enzymes that replicate a strand of DNA are unable to continue replicating all the way to the end, which causes the loss of some DNA. As an analogy, Think of DNA as a long row of bricks and of DNA replication as a bricklayer walking backwards on top of a brick wall, laying a new layer on top of that row. When the end of the wall is reached, the bricklayer finds himself standing on top of the bricks he's supposed to replicate. But since he can't put down a brick where his feet are, he steps back and falls off the wall, leaving the very end of the wall bare. As a result, the new copy of the wall is shorter. Just like this brick wall was copied imperfectly, our DNA is unable to copy itself perfectly. When a strand is replicated, the new strand is shorter than the old strand. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out a way to prevent that shortening and actually re-lengthen telomeres. How can we prevent telomere shortening? Our reproductive cells have no telomere shortening, and this is why our children are born younger than we are because our reproductive cells have no aging process. So in trying to understand why this is happening in our reproductive cells, we discovered an enzyme called telomerase. Telomerase re-lengthens telomeres. Every time a reproductive cell divides, the telomere still gets a little bit shorter, but then telomerase re-lengthens it. And in our research, we've discovered if we add more telomerase, the telomeres actually get longer and the aging in the cells actually gets reversed. The cells become younger. We want to find a drug that will get inside of our cells and turn that telomerase gene on so all the rest of our cells in our body don't age just like our reproductive cells don't age. Now with the $33 million that we've spent, we've already discovered 900 different chemicals that when added to human cells grown in a petri dish will actually cause the production of telomerase. Extrapolating from everything we've done so far, one year we will have a drug that should reverse aging in humans. We have the plan, we have the staff, we have the building, we have the labs, we have the equipment. The bottleneck is the funding. In order to make this research happen, we need investment money. Thank you for taking the time to listen to what I have to say. There's more information on this iPad. Please listen to it and contact me directly if you would like. I look forward to hearing from you.